Hesperia's Tony Singleton is the Mojave River League Player of the Year. Tony Singleton led Coach Bobby Tosetti's Scorpions to the school's fifth straight Mojave River League Championship, averaging 23 points a game. The 5'10 senior was first team All-MRL his junior year as well. The Scorpions advanced to the 2020 CIF Division 2A championship game, the farthest advancement of any high desert team this year. And the Scorpions went on to win their first game in the state regional tournament. What's the biggest reason you Scorpions just keep winning league game after league game after league game? Just consistency at practice, like working hard every day at practice, going in the gym, working together, staying together, talking to each other, just being a family and just going out, being ready to get it up. Congratulations. Tony Singleton's trademarks, Thank you. athletic and creative drives to the basket, the ability to elevate and hit the mid-range jumper, and accuracy from three-point range. He hit seven threes in one game against Sultana, a game in which he scored 41. He led his team in scoring, assists, and steals, and was second on the team in rebounding. If one play could capsulize his combined talents, it might be this. Five seconds on the clock, he out-rebounds the taller opponents, heads for the corner, and hits the three, beating the buzzer, ending the first half in this state regionals game. His quickness, savvy, and intensity on defense, contributing to the Scorpions, holding opponents on average under 50 points, and forcing 18 turnovers per game. Tony Singleton's value to the Scorpions' success far exceeded his statistics. His competitive spirit, lead by example work ethic, and unselfish teamwork inspired his teammates and earned him tremendous respect from opposing players and coaches as well. Tony Singleton will play in Mexico on a foreign tour and will play in the San Bernardino County versus Riverside County All-Stars game on April 5th at Summit. Cal State Stanislaus in Turlock is the first university to offer him a scholarship. The 2020 Hesperia Scorpions were definitely not a one-man team, however. Three others are named to the All-Mojave River League team. First team All-MRL honors earned by 6'3 junior Jonathan McCullough heir apparent to the team leadership role being vacated by Tony Singleton's graduation. John McCullough led the Scorpions in rebounding eight boards per game. He averaged 16 points a game. He scored 25 in the state regionals victory over Santa Fe Christian. John McCullough's season high 31 coming against MRL opponent and crosstown foe Sultana. Perimeter sharpshooter Blake Goodrow, the 6'1 senior, is named second team All-MRL. Blake Goodrow averaged just under 10 points a game. He hit 41% of his attempts from beyond the arc. His 19 points against Santa Fe Christian helped lead the Scorpions into the state regionals quarterfinals. Second team All-MRL honors also bestowed upon 6'4 senior Rashawn Burrell, another big man who runs the court and knows how to finish. Rashawn Burrell's finest game came in the CIF Division 2A championship game when he scored 26 points. The Oak Hills backcourt, both first team All-MRL. Senior point guard Isaiah Heider averaged 14 points a game for the Bulldogs and led the team in steals and assists. Isaiah Heider served as floor general for coach Sean Mora's Bulldogs, who advanced to the CIF Division 4AA semifinals and earned a berth in the state regional tournament. 6'2 shooting guard Michael Miller is the only sophomore named first team all Mojave River League. Michael Miller led the Bulldogs in scoring. He averaged 18 points a game. We caught up with the backcourt tandem following their one point victory over DSL champions Atalanto in this pre league battle. Michael Miller hits what proves to be the game winner with 13 seconds remaining. Michael, what made the difference in this game tonight? Uh, towards the end of the game, um, we came together and came as a team and executed well. And that's what made us win this game tonight. Um, I think the defense in the second half and we came out with more intensity, being more physical. In the first half, we weren't really getting anything, so we came out in the second half and made a difference. 
a third member of the MRL second place Bulldogs receiving all league honors 6-7 senior Nakai Williams. Oak Hills went 7-3 in league play. They won 22 of 29 overall. Sultana has two players named First Team, all Mojave River League. Junior point guard Arthur Cuevas is a repeat selection, his 302 points, highest on Coach Jay Harry's Sultans. He opened the season with 39 against Riverside Prep. Arthur Cuevas' season high in MRL play was 19 against Apple Valley. 5'10", senior Benny Veramontes averaged just under 17 points a game against MRL opponents. He scored a season-high 29 against Serrano. Benny Veramontes led the Sultans in rebounding. Serrano's two All-MRL first-team players are both repeat selections. 6'5", power forward Matt Lowe and backcourt general, six-foot senior co-captain Matt Fowler. The Diamondbacks went three and seven this year in the MRL. Davian Fields, six-one senior co-captain, is named second team all MRL. Burroughs point guard Evan Hansen, a first team all MRL selection, is a junior and repeat selection. Six-six senior guard Grant Martin and 6-4 forward A.J. Celestine, second team honors. Last season's Mojave River League Player of the Year continues to make headlines now nationally. Jaden Shackelford, the 2019 MRL MVP, now at the University of Alabama. He has been named to the All-Southeastern Conference freshman team. The 6'3 outside shooter supreme led the SEC in three-point shots and averaged 15 points a game. He has 466 points, fourth best in Crimson Tide history for a freshman. Jaden Shackelford, four times first team all Mojave River League. He played his freshman and sophomore seasons at Oak Hills, then his junior and senior seasons and Hesperia Scorpion. Desert High Transportation brings you this Video Sports Action Highlights Report. Desert High Transportation provides reliable and dependable non-emergency transportation for ambulatory and wheelchair passengers. Call 760-998-1487 to set up your appointment.